In this lecture, let's learn about access modifiers. And for that, here I have created a new class called employee where we have five properties employee name, salary, base location, is eligible, and hike percent. And to initialize these properties, we are using the constructor of this employee class. Now, let's go ahead and let's create an object of this employee class. So for that, let's first create a variable. I'm going to call this variable as employee. And to create an object from the employee class, again, we need to use the new keyword followed by the class name, which is employee in this case, followed by a set of parentheses. Now what it will do, it will call the constructor of this employee class. So it will call this constructor. And this constructor is expecting a value for name parameter. It is expecting a value for salary parameter, location parameter, is eligible parameter and hike percentage parameter. So let's pass those values. So for the name, let's pass John Smith. Let's say salary is 10,000. Location may be London. Then we have is eligible. Let's say true. And then hike percentage. Let's say 20% hike he has got. Okay. Now, here we have created this employee object. Now, inside this employee class, what I also want is this salary, it can be created only once when we are creating the employee object. So, at that time, for this salary, we are passing a value for this cell parameter. Right. So, here we are passing 10,000 for this cell parameter and we are assigning that cell parameter value to this salary. So the salary can be set only once. But currently what a user can do is he can simply access this employee object. So for that, let me first go ahead and let's log this employee object. Just to show you what will happen. Okay, let's save the changes. You will see that the employee object has been logged. And there, currently the salary is 10,000. Now, anyone can go and he can set the salary by simply accessing the salary on this employee object. And he can set it to maybe something else. Let's say 20,000. And after this line, if I log employee, you will notice that the salary of the employee has been set to 20,000. So here, if I expand this employee object, you can see that the salary is 20,000. And here also you will see that the salary has changed to 20,000. So anyone can go ahead and change the salary of the employee like this. But we don't want this to happen. We don't want this salary to be accessible outside of this class. The salary can only be set from within this class. The salary should not be accessible to anyone outside of this class. For that, we can use access modifiers. So we have two access modifiers, public and private. The public access modifiers makes a property and a method accessible to everyone from everywhere. But a private access modifier makes a property or a method only accessible inside the class where they are defined. So if we don't want this salary property to be accessible outside, we can simply use a private keyword in front of it and what this will do is it will make this salary property private it cannot be accessed outside of this employee class so now if i scroll down you will see that when we are trying to access this salary property on this employee it is throwing us a compiler error we cannot do it like this in the same way this hike percentage it should also not be accessible outside of the employee class because anyone can go ahead and increase the hike percentage of the employee and we don't want that to happen so this hike percentage also we are going to set it as private so now it can only be accessed inside of this employee class we can use the salary and this hike percentage property inside this employee class but we cannot access it outside of this employee class so when we make a property private that property can be accessed only within that class where we have declared it. Outside of that class, that property will not be visible. So from here, let's remove this line and let's also remove this console.log statement. 
all right now just like a property we can also set a method private or public so first of all let me go ahead and let me create a method and let's call this method get salary okay now inside this method what we are going to do is first we are going to check if the employee is eligible for hike or not so here we will check if is eligible and this is eligible is a property so we need to access it on this keyword so if the employee is eligible in that case he will have a hike percent so we are going to get the salary so for that we can say this dot salary and then we are going to multiply it by hike percentage so we can say this dot hike percentage divided by 100 so if the hike percentage is 20 percent that means the employee should get 20 percent hike so this expression here it will give us the total hike he has received and that we will add to the current salary so here we will say this dot salary plus the hike so this will give us the hike amount which we are adding to the current salary and we will return it from here otherwise we will simply return the current salary okay so now on this employee object let's also go ahead and let's call this get salary so here let's say employee dot get salary and it is going to return us the salary with hike or without hike so for this employee we have specified that the employee is eligible for hike and he should get 20 percent hike so current salary is 10,000. that's what we are passing here let's save the changes and let's see what salary he's going to get after the hike so it will be 12,000. okay so this is working as expected now what i will do is i will write this logic inside another function and i will call it get new salary okay and we are going to write this logic inside that function and from within this get salary function we are going to call this get new salary so again we will say this dot get new salary so again in order to access a method inside another method in the same class we need to use this this keyword okay now what i want is this method should only be used inside this employee class it should not be used or it should not be called outside of this class so for that again i am going to set it as private okay and when i am setting it as private this method cannot be accessed from outside of this employee class so if i try to access this get new salary on this employee object you see intelligence is not showing it after that also if i try to type it you will notice that we have an error here that's because this method is not visible outside of the employee class so we cannot access it but if i try to access this get salary since we have not used the private keyword in front of it by default it will be public and public methods and public properties can be accessed from anywhere so if i use that name get salary i am able to access it and we don't have any error so if we don't use any access modifier then by default the method or the property will be public so this is same as writing public access modifier in front of it so we can also do it like this but if we don't specify this public in that case also by default that method will be public same is true for properties also if we don't specify any access modifier by default they will be public so we can also write it like this or if we want we can omit this public access modifier because anyway by default the access modifier will be public for properties and methods so just to recap public properties and methods can be accessed from anywhere in your program they can be accessed from outside of the class inside which we have declared those properties or methods but a private property or method can only be accessed inside the class where they are declared outside of that class they are not visible this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day